Seen a few people in the comments ask how to get so much KP. So this is just going to be a quick guide on all the one-time knowledge point gains. And first up, we we'll actually have a weak aura that shows you every single thing you're missing. So I'll link that in the description also with the actual weak aura add-on. And you'll also need TomTom Tom for this to work properly. Because as you can see here, you just click this. And TomTom Tom will give you an arrow and a map pin of directly where to go to find the treasures. So the first one-time knowledge points are the treasures. There's eight of them for each profession and they give three knowledge points each for a total of 24. Next up, again on this weak aura, if you just click here, you'll see these. You follow it. These are the one-time knowledge books that you can get here from Lirundal in Dornogal. And they cost 200, 300 and 400 artisan security respectively. If you need artisan security, I've got a shuffle video. I'll link that in the description too. So these give you 10 points each and they re refund 50. So this one's essentially 150, this one's 250, and this one's 350. But you need the total amount first to buy them. So that's another 30 knowledge points there. Uh, the one in red is the Renown, and I don't have the Renown, so I can't get that. But if you see here, Council of Dornigal for 12, Profession Knowledge, you get Blacksmithing, Enchanting, Tailoring, uh, Assembly of the Deeps has one at 12 as well. And that's for Mining, Engineering, and Inscription. And then Hallowfall of Rethi has one too, except it's at 14 for some reason. And that's for jewel crafting, herbalism, skinning, and leatherworking. The weird named one here is the Kedge Book. That gives you another 10 knowledge points. For the Kedge Book, just come to Arj Kahet and then head to the City of Threads. Again, you just can click this weak aura. Right. Oh, wrong one. This one right here. Follow the arrow. Follow the map pin. These books will be at their respective trainers. So if you just look here, we've got a cooking trainer. This one's leatherworking trainer. So if you don't have this add on, just look for them here in the cities of threads and there'll be a guy like this for each profession and these cost uh, 565 cash if you don't have that cash i will just quickly show you which quests to do they take you probably five minutes the first cash one's here at the second front just here in ashkahet up on the boat you accept this quest and you gotta fly down and click a camp just over here now you don't need to do both of these quests you just get offensive counter as you can see here 285 cash all that requires you to do is kill 12 of these rubians and seeing, collect Kej, on to the next one. The next quest you do for Kej, start here in Ashkahet, just uh, to the right of Feyrin's advance. You have to do both of these quests, but again, they don't take long. Once you've finished with these two, you only have to do one of the next two he offers, and it's removing the cap. Again, Kej, right here. And you just fly into this burrow and kill the guy. Hand in, collect Kej. All right, those two quests are all you need to get the book. Like I said, two minutes done. And now, we're on to the final one, the first time crafts. So if you come here up to filter, first craft bonus, and this will show you absolutely everything you need to craft in order to get knowledge points. So if you want to get real keen and spend gold, here's another here's another eight knowledge points, and I assume another eight for mail. So 16 knowledge points just from, you can go and get this off the auction house right now. And every single profession has this except for perhaps enchanting, I believe. Like even alchemy has a flask you can craft for PVP now. So just for a quick recap, we have one-time treasures for 24, the Kedge book for 10, the Artist and Acuity books for another 30, Renown books for an additional 10, and lastly, first-time crafts, and every profession has a minimum of 30. More than that, but that's the number we'll use. So that comes to a total of 104 knowledge points you can get within the first week of picking up a profession if you have the Renown and Artisan's Acuity. Anyway, if this video helped, please like and subscribe. Peace.